Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to make an image like this one color, which can also be called monochrome. So to start off, you want to decide which parts of the drawing you want to be the same color. Of course, if you don't have layers like I do here, you have to change the whole entire drawing into that one color, or I'll go into details later. You cannot do that, but it will be harder. So because I have layers, I have a layer called loops, which is just the loops around the star, face, which is the facial expressions, and body, which is the body of the star, and then background, which is the background. I am going to only change the body, the face, and the loops of the star. So first of all, I'm just going to get rid of this background for now. And then I am going to make a copy of each of these layers. You make a copy by clicking duplicate layer. So I'm just going to duplicate every one of these. And then merge these duplicated layers together. So let me make everything else hidden. You see now I have a full body, I guess, it, I guess I call it full body layer. And it has my whole entire drawing in it. Now next, what I am going to do is create a new layer. In blending, I am going to set it to color. Then I'm going to clip clipping. Clipping basically makes it so that you can only draw on where your original drawing was. I don't know if that makes sense. Clipping makes it so that you can't draw outside of the pixels that have not been drawn on yet on the layer below. I'll make a whole video on clipping so it makes sense later. Anyways, so choose the color that you want your image to be. For now, I'll choose like a blue color. And then I am going to press insert or F12 on my keyboard. You don't have to do that. You can just go to this tool right here, which you can get to by pressing N, just N on your keyboard. And then you can select the area that you want to be colored and voila, you have your color. Now, as you can see, I do have a monochrome image now, but if you're not happy with these bright colors because the layer blending for color can result in quite bright colors, as you can see, you can always go and select the blending option hue, which I find has better results, although sometimes I still want to use the color layer. And it's as simple as that. Now, as I was saying earlier, if I had a whole entire image, like the star, and maybe I'll add the background in as well, one moment. Let me merge that. Okay. Oh, I'm lost. Okay, so. I have merged these two, and I only have this drawing. So I have this whole entire drawing. I don't have any layers. I can't separate any of the drawings from each other. And I only want the star to be monochrome. Now, you're going to have a harder time doing that. So first of all, you're going to create a new layer like I have here. You don't have to click clipping this time because the whole entire image is going to become monochrome. So you can just leave it be. And then I'll go to hue for now. So like before, just select the whole entire canvas and change it into that color. And then what you're going to do is go to this tool. Uh, I think it's called the magic wand. And so and click on the area that you want to be that you want to be color. No. Click on the area that you do not want to be colored, like this background. Now, you can see over here, I have a few unselected areas. All you're going to do is click Shift and then tap on those areas as well. And there you go. Now that I have selected all of these things, what I'm going to do is press Control shift i which is inverse my selection. Or you can go to Select and then Inverse if you have an Apple computer. Now that you are here, you can just press Control X or use the eraser tool 
or use the eraser tool to just slowly erase everything away. And then there you go, your background is now blue.